are we an atheist how do we define who is an atheist and who is a theist the definition of every concept is fundamentally we have to tally it with vedas and vedic scriptures written by rishi munis for example nastiko ved nindakah that's a fundamental rule of almighty god that one who is insulting the vedas is nastik so anyone who is insulting the vedas cursing the vedas that vedas are not almighty god vedas are totally unscientific vedas are not modern vedas are not useful for this uh, generation lifestyle if somebody says insulting words of to the vedas without knowing what is there in vedas for sure that person is nastik but let's say 90 percentage of the people who are seeing my video they are astic people they consider themselves as astic which is good but because they are god fearing they understand almighty god they understand karma philosophy that god will punish if we do bad uh, karmas etc that that's very good sign but the problem is are we really atheist or theist this is what we have to understand with the definition of nastiko ved nindaka my acharya beautifully explains that ved nindak one who is cursing the vedas is definitely atheist but what is the meaning of ved nindaka we have to go in depth and understand my acharya beautifully explained in two words one is stuti other one is ninda stuti opposite to stuti is ninda stuti means speaking truth for example i have a mouse in front of me this is a mouse if i say this mouse is red color and this is microsoft make or some other make whatever is written here then i am speaking stuti i am speaking the truth i am doing stuti for this mouse but if i say that this is not a mouse this is black in color something else against this then i am speaking lie and that is called as ninda so stuti is telling the truth as it is sun gives us light because of sun only rain is happening because of sun only only crop is growing because of sun only photosynthesis is happening because of sun only we are able to maintain our 98 degree fahrenheit in the body these kind of qualities if i say about sun then i am doing stuti to the sun on the other hand if i say because of sun only darkness is happening because of sun only all diseases are spreading if i am speaking against it i am speaking untruth i am speaking ninda this is called as ninda this is the difference between stuti and ninda in very very simple understanding lang- language now we go to nastiko ved nindakah ved in vedas almighty god says that this is me these are my qualities this is these are not my qualities for example somebody says that almighty god ta- can take avatar we have to tally with vedas god says aja ek pata i don't take birth i don't have a body i don't have a nervous system i don't have no one can measure me i'm infinite i don't have a photo i don't have a image for example god says these kind of qualities in vedas and i say no 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 god is sri ram god is sri krishna god is allah god is jesus any any names i just put these are these names are not there in the vedas so i am vedas is telling the truth so if i say that hey god you do not have a murti natasya pratima asti sa parayaga chukram makayam asna viram shuddham apapa viddham i am doing stuti with the ved mantra which is telling this kind of meanings i am omnipresent i am almighty i am swayambhu i don't have parents i never take birth these are stuti but on the other hand i am worshiping sri ram sri krishna allah jesus etc 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 then indirectly we are doing ninda to the vedic gyan of almighty god this is this has to be clearly understood because many of us has got highest respect towards vedas but still we go against vedas unknowingly so that is why unknowing atheism unknowingly we are getting into the trap of nastik and the trap of nastik the karma fall for nastik is extremely unbearable almighty god says in the vedas that one who goes against the vedas i will punish them very severely because they are not following the truth vedas are the truth whatever is told in the vedas you have to follow it not only about almighty god even about for example vedanta says aham brahma asmi everything is you are god i am god everything is god the world is brahman which is not telling with the vedas god says jayanscha purusha padavasya abavat punah 
a minute power of almighty god acts on the prakriti which is non alive matter and this universe gets created so god is separate prakriti is separate universe is getting created so universe is separate god is separate whereas vedanta says everything is god which is not telling it veda so vedanta is nindaka it is coming into the atheistic philosophy which is called as nindaka ved nindaka unknowing unknowingly atheist because many of the vedantists they believe veda so much but they do not understand the fundamentals of vedas because of the only reason that they do not have an acharya who has attained the samadhi and who has realized vedas in the samadhi so if we take this world at least india for example 99.99 percentage of indians do not know what is there in vedas if we are ved nindakah nastisam nastiko nastiko we will be enter we will be entitled as nastik by almighty god and we will get into severe punishment but the problem is rishi uh, uh, i was reading one of a uh, beautiful proverb by rishi that because that you are not under, you are not getting the result immediately you think that there is no karma philosophy for example we see many people questioned me that uh, you know karnanidhi insulted the vedas karnanidhi did so much bad to uh, hinduism still he is he lived 95 100 years so god is not punishing him it is not like that immediately god will not give the result the karma philosophy will act slowly 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 because the karmas are in queue we have to wait patiently and that karma will never miss the address it will come and strike us so hard that we will we means we are souls we will definitely get into the trap of that punishment we cannot escape it so that's why unknowing atheism has to be understood clearly people who are really thinking that they are god fearing they believe respect almighty god and vedas they have to go to the basics they have to start understanding what is vedas who give the knowledge of vedas some people asked me how do you believe that vedas are from almighty god which i will make another video i have already made several videos on that but i will make another video also so what is vedas why god is there only in vedas why god does not send books from time to time why god does not use messengerism so when we understand the basics and go to how to worship that almighty god how to search an acharya who is the real acharya so all those fundamentals if we understand then it is stuti and we follow the vedic path and then god will understand that we are god fearing really today we are god fearing only as a because we are having a imaginary god created by ourselves and then we are having god fear of that imaginary god which is totally anti vedic totally nastik so unknowing atheism has to be understood and we all have to strive to come back, come out of this unknowing atheism thank you so much namaste om